a recent report out shows how little Bernie Sanders is being covered by different media outlets. And this comes from, of course, the Tyndall report, which has compiled, uh, which compiled some of the data uh, of how much, um, how much exposure in the media the different candidates have gotten. So um, when it comes to Bernie Sanders, on ABC, NBC, and CBS, Bernie Sanders only received about 10 minutes of coverage for the entire year. And that's from all the different networks combined. Now, how does that compare with the other candidates? Well, let's look at the Republican side, for example. When we look over there, we see that Donald Trump, the leader of the Republican uh, field, has received 234 minutes of airtime. Now, okay, there's a big disparity there. Now, a lot of you can say, well, that's because Donald Trump has been leading the field. That's true. That's very, very true. And that Bernie Sanders is behind Hillary Clinton in the Democratic race, you know, where there's only three people. Okay, those are fair comparisons. So, with that in mind, let's do a comparison, not between Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump, but actually Bernie Sanders and the rest of the field. For example, we could look, since he is in second place on the Democratic side, we could look at the people who've been shifting in and out of the second place on the Republican side. So let's go with that. Now, when you look at the coverage by the people that are going around in second place on the Republican side, you see there's a disparity between them and Bernie Sanders. For example, Ben Carson has received 54 minutes of coverage compared to Bernie Sanders 10. Now, Ben Carson was in second place on the Republican side. Hmm. Bernie Sanders in second place on the Democratic side. But there's a 44-minute difference between coverage on the major news networks. Huh, that's interesting. All right, well, what about um, some of the others? Uh, for example, you've got Marco Rubio, the establishment guy, on the Republican side. He's also been switching between the first at least five. He got 22 minutes of coverage, a full 12 minutes more than Bernie Sanders. All right, now what about, now this is, this is staggering. Let's talk about Jeb Bush. Jeb Bush, who's polling at about 3%, compared to Bernie Sanders' aggregate of, of about 32%. Jeb Bush has had a staggering 56 minutes of coverage compared to Bernie Sanders' 10 Remember, Jeb Bush is at 3%. 3%. What is going on here? It seems like the media, mainstream corporate media, doesn't want to cover Bernie Sanders. In fact, that's exactly what they're doing. Now, here's how much time Sanders stories were uh, afforded for the entirety of 2015. On CBS Evening News, he got about 6.4 minutes. NBC Nightly News, 2.9 minutes. ABC World News, which is the worst offender, 0.3 minutes. 0.3 minutes? You've got to be kidding me. This, this is why they say they've got a Bernie blackout. And that's really amazing. Now, when it comes to Trump, as I said, Trump has actually accounted for 27% of all campaign coverage this year. Now, this is, of course, because for one, he says all sorts of crazy things. For two, he's been leading the Republican field all summer. So I guess you can understand that. But when you look at Bernie Sanders, who has been getting record crowds and record support online, and he's been doing very, very well in the polls, you look at that disparity and you can't help but think that there's something more to this. Now, I'm not saying that there is. I'm not, I'm not putting on a tinfoil hat 
and saying that it's a deliberate conspiracy. What I think a lot of it is based on is on how it's really better for the media. And I'm not saying better in a good way. I'm saying better in a money way, an advertising way to cover the guy that says the craziest shit. You give that guy more airtime. Whereas Bernie Sanders, he talks about the issues, the issues that normal everyday Americans want to hear about. The media and the American populace are not one and the same. They have different priorities and they cover different things. They want to hear different things. Media wants to talk about the most outrageous things for clicks. Whereas the American public, they actually want to hear about things that will affect their lives. So it's not so much of a establishment way of keeping Bernie Sanders down, which I'm certainly, that could be a small part of it. Where some like, I don't want to cover Bernie Sanders. For one, we don't think he's very exciting. That And this is not me speaking. This is me thinking that this is what the establishment says. We're not going to cover him because he's not exciting for us. He's not going to get us great ratings, which are completely wrong because the media is cut off from everyone else. But that's what they think. They think we're going to cover the guy who says the craziest stuff for the most media exposure. And that's why you have Donald Trump. Donald Trump's playing the system. He might not even believe half the stuff that he believes, but he might be saying it because he gets all this free coverage. Now, I don't know if that's the case or not. Maybe he does believe this stuff. And in that case, that's incredibly scary. That's incredibly scary. But maybe, just maybe, because he knows how the media works, that might be why he doubles down and triples down on this incredible rhetoric just to continue to get more noticed. And it seems to be working. 